Hey guys, it's me, Jess, and good morning. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different, and I'm gonna take you with me on a not typical <laughs> Tuesday in my life as a part-time reseller. Currently, I have this week off, so I'm gonna do a lot of reselling stuff and stuff to make me money in general. I actually need to be a little bit more quieter. It is 4 a.m. at my house. Everybody's still asleep except the kitties, so let me go ahead and feed all of these guys. I'll do a quick intro of them because I'm sure you're not here for kitty content. But if you enjoy uh, vlogs, then this video is for you. Here's the uh, kitty station. This is Bob. Hi, Bob. He's Bob because he has no tail, so he's like a bobtail cat. <laughs> and then we have Melvin. He's our old man, our little senior. Hello, meow meow. How are you today? He's a little angry because he hasn't been fed yet. And then we come to Sam, and he's our little feisty guy. See, he's already gotten some toys out. That is a like neck massager, just so you guys don't think anything weird. But he is ready to play and eat. Oh, well, they're all enjoying their food. Get a little morning breakfast. And then a lot of you might not know, but we adopted an Angora bunny. He is a black with a little white sock. Give me your sock. Give me your white sock. But I just fed him, but he is so excited he wants to get out. I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh, look how cute you are. Oh, you're, nope, you're gonna try again. <laughs> Not today, buddy. So yes, this is Roy Boy. My daughter wanted to name him like Annalise Bella or something. <laughs> and, then we, <laughs> and then we found out he was a boy and she's like, okay. Let's name him Roy. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty funny. Onto the basement where all of my eBay, Poshmark, and Macari reseller stuff is. So let's go ahead and head there. <laughs> Bye, Roy. Also, to kind of catch you up on like life stuff, um, I've been under a little bit of stress because of our basement. It is a disaster. And like when I mean disaster, I mean like almost hoarder ish looks like a hoarder house kind of except you can actually there's little paths for you to make your way through no I am not a hoarder neither is my husband uh, but we do have a little project going on and it's just taking a little bit longer a lot longer <laughs> than expected uh, my husband is doing it himself so we're trying to save a little bit of money by doing that but let me show you what's going on <laughs> with this uh, stress zone i'm walking down the stairs and already it's like oh my god this is such a mess and then you look over here and you're like oh my gosh this is terrible <laughs> and then you look over there and that's terrible but we are in the midst of making a <laughs> i say little because i thought it was going to be little uh it's a bar area we don't drink that much or have very many friends so I'm not really sure uh, what the husband was thinking here there's going to be a little doorway that is the door that's going to slide over and it's like one of those doors where you pull out a book and it like opens and here is going to be a movie theater room so there's the stairs so that's where all the seating will be and then we have tv or projector that's going to project on that wall so that will be fun, a nice little uh, addition to the house. And a long time ago, we made semi addition to the house that's in the unfinished part of the basement. So we keep all of our um, like stuff down this hallway. It's a disaster as well. And then I have my eBay and Poshmark room, but I just made it into like a storage area. Okay, right now it's kind of a disaster, not really. So yeah, so here's all my stuff. You guys normally see me recording in this room. And um, yeah, so I put everything in here. It was in here and in my guest bedroom. And I didn't really like that, even though I only have guests like five times a year. I have like all of my pre-owned shoes right there. And then my A through FF a little thingies over there. These are all new with tag dresses. These are just random stuff. Bob, you're not allowed in here. Bobby! Oh, get out! No! Bob! Bob! You're not allowed in here! Oh my gosh! Shouldn't have kept the door open. So that's this room. And then I try to photograph in here as well. There's my little flat lay table. And then let me take you to the other room. 
so that was my unfinished part and now here is the guest bedroom which is my office let's do a little room reveal it is so cute i love it so much so i put new carpet down because uh a cat had peed all over this carpet and it's like very uncleanable and yeah so that's my shipping station i got all my shipping supplies over there a cute little picture there kind of calm down nice little cute little bed and then all of my shoes that couldn't fit in that other room and then my desk and then I'm gonna put a big picture right there I'm waiting for it on Amazon's it takes three weeks to get here new curtains and then random stuff and then stuff my mom picked out for the room so I'm super excited had to cover up all the stains so that looks a little weird love my mat so yeah, let's get started with the day. All right, so I just opened my computer. I realized this is like a horrible angle. The light is right there and it's not working like in the right way. So um, today is my thrift day. So it is bag sale day. I haven't been to the bag sale in forever. I really don't need to go. I don't need inventory because I just cleaned both of my office areas and I found like a ton of stuff that's not listed so really should be listing that but this is um kind of a day in the life and what would a reseller day in the life be without some thrifting I have on my agenda a bag sale and then goodwill is 75 percent off a certain color tag so definitely have to check that out and then if I have time I will hit up the savers that isn't really by me so but I have the day off so why not Plus I have a 30% off coupon if I spend $50. Not hard there at all. So uh, hopefully we can find some gems there. That'll pretty much be the day. First, we have to start off with some shipping, which is actually on my other computer. So let me take you over there. So it is Tuesday um, and unfortunately I had zero sales on eBay. Sad day. And zero sales on Macari, which is pretty typical. I did have uh, two sales on Poshmark. So it, I'm gonna go ahead and print those labels. The first sale was a full price sale of a Chico's item that I've had forever. This Chico's piece is actually one that I got from my mom maybe like two, maybe three years ago. And I sold it for $19. It is brand new with tags. Uh, it is super lightweight, but it'll be good for spring. So excited for that person to get that. And then the next sale was a retail arbitrage item. It was a Polo Ralph Lauren. It had the a pony on it, which I think makes it more valuable. And the fact that it was brand new with tags. I had it listed for $117, uh, but somebody sent me an offer for $75. I paid, I believe, $19.99 for it. Um, like after taxes, I paid like maybe $22, $23. So this sold for $75. I get $60 after Poshmark fees. Pretty good return on my investment. So let's go ahead and grab those and get shipping. All right, so I grabbed everything in the other room. Here is the Chico's item, and I'm going to put it in a Tyvek envelope, which is something you can use on Poshmark. Poshmark does allow you to use priority boxes, so I love it because they are all free. Even the envelopes are free, so there is that one. For more expensive items, I like to put them in boxes just because it seems like you're taking a little bit more care of the item. And then I love these boxes because they already have the adhesive on them so you don't really have to use tape. And wherever you can save money, I, I will. And I put a Poshmark sticker on there because I've had them forever. So I was excited to get rid of them. That was my last one. And then it got stuck to the box. So <laughs> kind of a waste there, but whatever. They were free. So I'm just going to use a little thank you sticker. I'm not really sure where I've got those from because I got them forever ago. And I do buy my uh, thank you stickers from Timu from now on because they are like super, super cheap. Shout out to Tanya. Thank you for sharing that. And we're done. I uh, showered and then <laughs> we are on our way to the bag sale. It is 8.55. They should open uh, in approximately five minutes, give or take. Uh, the workers there are volunteers. So whenever they show up, that's when they open. So they might be open now and they might be open in like 20 minutes. So we'll just see. And I do have my handy dandy Ray-Bans on. So hopefully I can get some footage inside. This is my church bag sale. So the last time I was there, it was $10 a bag. So you just fill up a brown paper bag, like grocery bag. 
and then they charge you ten dollars or I think it's like a dollar per piece of clothing if they don't have it marked up which they only mark up like occasionally they mark up like Adidas and Nike but I found like St. John there I found Lululemon there uh, just on the regular racks. Hopefully I find something good. Then I was thinking, you know, if I find mediocre brands, I could possibly make some more uh, mystery boxes on Poshmark and make a quick like $120. $10 into $120 works perfectly well for me. When I do those boxes, I, I find brands that I would have normally thrifted, but right now I'm just being super picky. Not luxury, but items that will sell for over $30 and then items that will sell like right away. Typically I'll find a bunch of Nike stuff or a bunch of Adidas stuff and I'll just put it in a, a, like J. Jill. I'll find J. Jill. I'll find soft surroundings and I'll just put it in those boxes uh, for other resellers and I mark the boxes super cheap. You can still get super cheap inventory that will sell for a good price. So you're paying what two three dollars per item because I put like five to seven items in the boxes. So I'm just trying to do my part uh, and help keep stuff out of the landfill and help other resellers. And I've always gotten good reviews on my boxes except for one, which I have a story about. So one of the ladies who, who had bought one of my boxes and had watched me on TikTok said that one of her items smelled really bad. Shouldn't it be like, obvious if I'm selling mystery boxes I'm not gonna wash items like no <laughs> so I didn't I didn't wash this particular item and apparently it smelled bad to her and so she left me a four-star review and then I was like feeling ballsy right then and <laughs> I said I said if you didn't like what you got in your box you could return the whole box and I would be I, I would happily refund you and then she changed her rating to a one star rating and said I was a rude and that something smelled so bad she would have never put it in the box. And I was like, I sold you like seven items for like $15. Like, and you give me a one star rating. Like, <laughs> it was just funny to me. Like, it doesn't bother me. One star ratings, any, like anything doesn't bother me. <laughs> it's just, I just thought it would share because it was like super petty and hilarious and I was just like why like why waste your energy to write all that I did end up blocking her because she will no longer be buying mystery boxes from me on our way to the bag sale we will uh, get there and uh, find some good stuff so here's a look at the tiniest thrift store you will ever see this is the bag sale it is so cute but they are so friendly here and a shout out to my new friend, Jamie. She, she was just staring at me here because I don't know if she thought it was me or not. And she finally came and introduced herself. So that was super cool. And then I found some Birkenstocks and I believe this style does not go for as much as, you know, the regular ones. Uh, and then I found out there was a limit of two shoes per person. So I did find these Vionics, but they were a little scratched up. So I decided to pass on them, even though shoes here are a dollar. Uh, I knew where they were just in case I was going to go back. And then I found these J Jills, but I decided to pass on those as well. So here I am through the men's section and I found an embroidered Ralph Lauren polo with a little bear on it. And I know the little bear, if it has it on the shirt, can go for a lot. So I definitely picked this one up. And then I found a basket full of shoes. I'm not really sure if I was supposed to go through these, but they were all looking like singles. So I was trying to find that Steve Madden that's in my right hand. Very unsuccessful here. And then I picked up this shoe and I was like, oh my gosh, it's Kate Spade. Let me, let me see. I'm going to go through this entire bin. And I did. And what happened? I found it at the bottom. So I was super excited about that. I didn't even check comps. Usually Kate Spade shoes go for a, a decent price. Well, I was in there a little over an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. So hopefully you saw the footage of what I was finding. I was really excited at the end when I found that box that had the Kate Spade shoes in it. Cause I was originally looking for a pair of Steve Madden, which would have brought me like nothing. Um, I'm not really sure what the Kate Spades will bring. It's really hard to do comps when you're in the store. Found a bunch of Torrid. I don't know. I'm probably just going to lot it all together and see if I can just sell it at really cheap just to get rid of it. It was a decent trip. I mean, with the Kate Spade shoes, I'll definitely make at least double 
uh, my money back. So that's always a plus. And then everything else is pretty much free. So I am heading to my post office and then I am heading to, shoot, I should have turned. I'm heading to my rude. I'm heading to my post office to drop off my two packages. And then I think I will head down more south, but west St. Louis area to um, go to Savers and then go to a couple Goodwills down there depending on time. I do have to be back by three-ish because I forgot I have an appointment at three. Ugh. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'll check back in when I get to either Goodwill or Savers. All right, here we are at Goodwill in Clayton, Missouri. And here's a look at the inside. And of course I had to do a mirror check, hello. And then, yeah, that's a look at the store. So let's head towards the dress section first. That is my favorite. And I found this flying tomato and it is 75% off. So I was debating on getting it, but I just don't like this style at all. I did put it in my cart and then I was like, what are you doing? Just don't buy it. So then I headed over to the jean section and I found these Coogie pants. I'm not really sure how you say it. Coogie, Coogie, it's, it's whatever. It, they were kind of expensive. They were white and then i found these affliction right behind it and i sold affliction jeans men's for a really good price but that was a couple of years ago but i still decided to put it in my cart because i thought it would still sell for a good amount and then i went back to these kugi and i was debating for so long then i found some loose thread and then a little bit of dirt at the top so i decided to pass on these because i really didn't want to take the time to clean them and then these two gentlemen just came up behind me and started like talking about Jesus. Honestly, I just didn't think Goodwill was the place for that. So then I headed over to the sweater section or long sleeves and found this a daydreamer. I did not realize that was by free people. So that was exciting to learn that. Uh, it says Def Leppard on it. I know that's pretty popular. Maybe it was a year ago, but maybe still today. So I was gonna look it up. I did do a Google Lens search. I love using Google Lens because I can actually get stock photos from it as well as check comps on all platforms, eBay, Poshmark, and sometimes the Macari. So I did pick that up and then I looked at these coat shoes and I was like, this is ridiculous. Like $16 and they're all cracked on the inside. Like really goodwill, come on. And then I went over to the purse section, a section I usually don't stop by and for good reason because I the only thing that looked kind of worth picking up was this vera bradley and it was super clean so i was pretty excited i've sold it before but then it was 24 dollars. what the heck so passed on that one of course and then came across these theory tops the first one was just plain black so i skipped over it but then i saw there was a red one behind it the same size it felt really nice so i just decided to pick them both up i'm at savers now uh this place is always crowded i don't understand it's tuesday and what time is it? It's 11.35. Like, shouldn't people be at work or like eating lunch? So, let's look at Savers and we'll go inside. I think this is literally the largest thrift store I have ever been in. It is a huge warehouse full of items, some good, some bad. And we'll go ahead and start out in the jean section. I found some Sundance jeans. I never find Sundance in my area. I found it in Mississippi, so... I was excited because the price for that one was pretty good. The price for that one was not so good. I found some Madewell. The price was decent, but these are smaller sizes. So I decided to pass on most of them. Rag and Bone has not done well for me. Then I found some more Sundance and these were a little bit more expensive, but I figured I could probably lot the two together and that one had nice embroidery. And I just love these Gap jeans. I don't know why. And then I went over to the long sleeve section and just looked and found this soft surroundings. I, I don't pick up soft surroundings much anymore, especially for that price. That was a bit ridiculous. And then I just had to look it over and I was gonna look at the cuff of the sleeve and then I found a stain. So definitely passed on that one. And do you guys pick up Saturday, Sunday? I've, I've seen it a couple of times, but I've just never picked it up because comps never looked good. And then this lady started touching my cart after she just like barged in front of me. So that kind of made me mad. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to move. And then we head over to the shoe section. Look at how many shoes are here. This is insane. There were just two aisles. 
of shoes and then i saw these purple things and i'm like oh they feel so nice and i was like they look like comfort shoes oh they're vionic i thought they would be naturalizers but they were $13.49, which was a little bit expensive, but I put them in my cart because this other lady was gonna grab them, I thought. And then I found this rack of new shoes that two other resellers were at, and they were talking about the Nikes up there. And then I just grabbed these Ariat boots, and I was so excited. They are really dirty. I was debating on putting it back, but then I grabbed the other one. It was just as dirty, but I checked the price. I had already grabbed two of them. And the price was very decent, and they are all the same size. It was eight dollars and forty nine cents. Uh, the green ones, I believe, were like thirteen. So I wasn't really sure about picking those up, but I thought since they're all the same size, maybe somebody will just buy them all. <laughs> yeah, it is hilarious. She said it is your lucky day. And here I found a spot to check items over, and I looked at this Princess Polly and. I did look it up, even if it's new with tags, it didn't look like it was going for much and wouldn't be worth the price I paid. So put that one back, found this Dolan. It was a little overpriced as well. And I was looking up comps. And again, if I don't see anything above 30, I'm not interested. This is a new brand to me, Mishki. I don't know, it was brand new with tags, but it was a size extra small. Uh, comps were really not as great as I was hoping for that one. And then I found this Pistola. I, I used to sell Pistola all the time. These are skinny and they were $8.29. They were a good size, but I decided to pass on them. Uh, Mavi, I've sold Mavi before or I still have it. It was a really good price, but again, these are skinny. They're cargo pants, um, really cute, but just not for me. F and F, never heard of this brand before. I did look it up and I saw comps were around five to nine dollars. So definitely not paying nine dollars for that one. Here is the stuff I did end up getting. These are big star jeans. I've never ever sold big star jeans before or had them for sale. So I was excited for this, even though they are skinny, they still looked like they had good comps. And Elliot Lauren is a new brand to me. I'm not sure that these are gonna sell anytime soon. 11.49 was a bit much, but whatever. And then I found some Judy Blue. I'm gonna give it a second chance. These look like they are very on trend right now. So, but 13.49 was a bit steep, but I still did it. So here I am waiting in line to check out at the self-checkout. That is all they have here. Here's a look at my cart. Uh, I did find two Cacique bras, a blue and an orange that have like a lace overlay. They were $2.99 and a really good size. So excited for that. And I did find a Victoria's Secret brand new with tags that I kind of overpaid for, but uh, we'll see how it does. So then at the checkout, I was a little surprised because my coupon only took a max of $15 off. So I was a little sad about that. So I didn't read the fine print of savers and that's my fault. And I definitely would have been a little more picky with stuff I was picking up. Super sad. Yeah, there was a limit. You will only get a maximum of $15 off. So even if you get like 30% off, uh, it's just like on $50. So it said, you know, spend $50, get 30% off. But really it's like spend exactly $50, get 30% off. Anything above that, you aren't gonna get 30% off. So, shoot, <sighs> kind of a bummer, cause I did spend over $100. And I t do not need some of that stuff. Like, I'm kind of, kind of mad. Like, I don't, I don't wanna go and return it. Uh, I should have just taken it off while I was there. Dang it. But then I thought about it and I was like, well, what if I sell it for like, at least triple the price? Like, I'm making money. But, you know, I don't know. I'm ah! we're going to go home. We're going to start listing this stuff. I do have to wash those bras because I did notice there was a little yellowing on one of them. But there's a few things I can list like right away that are new with tags. So excited for that and excited for everything else I got. But yeah, so that, that's my thrifting for today. Right, so I am back home. It is 630. So I did have my appointment. And then I started listing a little and played with the child. She's currently on spring break, so she's been home all day. <laughs> so uh, I need to like occupy her and do stuff with her. The rest of the night we'll be doing that. But I do want to let you know that I did get nine listings and a zit. And apparently I got a zit, yes. 
Maybe it's a bug bite. We'll just say it's a bug bite because that sounds a lot less gross than is it. So the nine things I listed, I actually put like things together are the polo a Ralph Lauren shirt that I got at the bag sale, some Joe Fit athletic shorts, which I had no idea. They were actually selling for a pretty good price. So I put two of those together. I got those at the bag sale. Two theory tops that I got at Goodwill. I believe I showed those. The Daydreamer, which is by Free People. I had no idea. <laughs> the things you learn. That I got from Goodwill. I listed that. Elizabeth and James, because I wasn't finding anything at the bag sale, that was the first thing I put in my bag. And apparently I just found out that's from Kohl's. So that's probably a negative, but it still had pretty good comps. And then I listed the Vionic Kimmy shoes I overpaid for. Totally wouldn't have gotten those, uh, but they do retail for like 130. So I'm thinking they do seem kind of new. They were a little dirty on the bottom, but besides that, they were like perfect. I paid like $13 for those. So big star, matty, skinny jeans, a little worried about those, um, but I was really excited to try big star. Never ever sold that before. And I probably won't, <laughs> it probably just sit. And then uh, the two Cacique bras, which I don't believe I showed in the video. Maybe you saw a glimpse of them at the last moment. And then a Victoria's Secret uh, bra that was brand new with tags. Probably overpaid for that one as well. The retail on it was like $79. So I figured $10 wasn't too bad. I mean, if I saw it in Victoria's Secret for $10, I probably would get it to resell. So what's the difference between finding it at a thrift store besides it may have a stench with it? A thrift store scent. That is what I have listed. I'm going to go eat and then enjoy the rest of the evening with my family. That is it for my day. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed a little parts of the video. I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.